Uh, I was very pleased at the State of the Union that the President mentioned that there are flaws in the health care bill that need fixing. It's easy to pick a few paragraphs out of a 2,700-page law to find a few provisions that are popular. Apparently, the purpose of the hearing today is to identify those few issues in the new law that enjoy support, and that's often from both sides of the aisle. Now, usually a hearing is to seek solutions. Unfortunately, the reality is that Americans won't have the luxury of only abiding by their favorite paragraphs of the new law. Americans will be forced to comply with the entire law. As a result of the new law, children in many states are not able to get child-only health plans. I recently got a letter from a disabled veteran in Wyoming. He wrote to me that because of the new law, he can't get health insurance for his kids. He gets his health insurance care from the VA, so he doesn't need a family policy. He needs a policy for his two kids, but because of drafting errors in the new law, he's out of luck. No health insurance plans in Wyoming are writing new child-only policies. I've asked my staff to look into this, and they found that to be the case in at least 19 other states. Because of the new law, kids are not able to get health insurance. This is the reality that we face as a result of the new health care law. Nothing in the testimony we will hear today is going to change it. And that's why survey after survey shows that the American people reject the policies set forth in this new law. There is a sign on the side of a building in Worland, Wyoming that says, as regulations grow, freedoms die. Madam Secretary, you have the unfortunate task of writing the hundreds of thousands of pages of regulations to implement an unpopular health care law that the American people reject. With each page you publish, you will be limiting the freedoms of everyday Americans. I do believe this is your first time to appear this before this committee since your nomination hearing roughly two years ago. And uh, to perform proper oversight, this co committee will need to hear more from you and I will ask you to reaffirm that commitment today. I'm glad this committee will finally have the opportunity to ask you questions about the implementation of the new health care law, which impacts one-sixth of our nation's economy. I believe that we can and should do better. I intend to focus on ways to eliminate the provisions in this new law that limit our basic freedoms. In their place, I will work to enact reforms that will focus on increasing consumer choices and decreasing health care costs. We must make health care more affordable for both consumers and the federal taxpayer. For parents like the disabled veteran in Wyoming that I mentioned in my opening statement who need to buy a plan, it's absolutely devastating. Um, it's, the outcome is unfortunately predictable as a result of the, the drafting, one, of, one which things would uh, allow a person to buy a policy on their way to the emergency room. And uh, so there's some incorrect drafting and incorrect implementation. Do you have any specific steps that you're going to take to fix the problem in those 20 states? Uh, does Congress need to change the law? Uh, parents' uh, coverage is often available to many of the children who had child-only policies. It, um, it, we're finding that a lot of children are being insured, again, through their parents' coverage. So you're saying there are no need for changes? Well, S Senator, we will continue to look at the situation, particularly in, in states like Wyoming, if all the companies have, have moved out.